Super special shout out to Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, Yuzhika Bay, Madlow, The Hellraiser, Harrington, Killer Bunny 264, Jelly Beams, Jim Bones, and Bilaco for your amazing support. To support the channel by becoming members or patrons like them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Simulus That I Darkness Falls mod. So, last episode we went into the wasteland a bit and it was intense. <laughs> Uh, we're going to try and make sure that we can go and just clear out this whole town over here, guys. We're basically going to go over here in the outskirts. Uh, these outer buildings, we're only going to go for the important ones. For example, last episode, we went for this. I think this was the army camp over here. Uh, no, this, that's the army camp. So we're going to go for all the cool looking buildings, ones we haven't seen in the past, ones we haven't looted in a while, all that stuff. Um, the others, we're not really going to touch right now. And then as you guys can see, I'm also doing some inventory management over here. All the shotgun ammo and 9 ammo I'm just making into bundles and then just putting away. Okay, also all of the forges have finished their stuff. Um, I've put most of the pieces of here because I'm now busy making some batteries of here. So um, as soon as that's, oh, these batteries are done, I can actually make quite a lot, like 180 or something. Um, but I can, uh, I only made 60 here uh, and 60 downstairs because it's 10, 20, 30, it can only hold 60. So I wanted to make sure it doesn't waste any. Also, I want to make some uh, arrowheads or pulse arrows. So, um, the titanium cross... I wonder if the compound crossbow can actually hold... I'm going to test this quickly. Can the compound crossbow hold the laser battery? If it can, then I don't have to make a titanium crossbow. It can. Okay. See, this is faster than the crossbow. Well, I don't know if the titanium crossbow is faster. I've never really tried it. But the compound bow, in my opinion, is just better than the other... Uh, than bows in general are faster reloading faster shooting than crossbows so i'm gonna go for the explosive pulse uh, arrows not the bolts uh we can put that one away for now how many do we have over here i'm gonna have to do this so we can actually go for the compound bow okay now we should be able to make yep a level 71 we have three of here so i should be able to when i repair these you just add it to the level 71 and that should be level, either level 80 or super close to level 80. So we need some leather, mechanical parts, duct part. Okay, let me just please see. Leather. Uh, duct tape. What else? Let's go for a thousand. So a thousand in this one. A thousand in this one. And every now and then I'm just gonna have to come check. We can fill up the jars really easily. We do have ovens as well. So we can cook all the water up, but I don't think we have the batteries, unfortunately. Because all of these ovens require batteries to cook, and over here we only have like two, I think. One, two. Yeah, we need one, two batteries over here. And I used up all my batteries to make NICDs. So we don't have any batteries, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to go range a ton of uh, vehicles just to be able to get that done. Okay, we can drop this for now. I'll drop these in here. I need to make a compound bow. Compound bow. I can actually just craft it over here, then it's easier. You could make it in this as well, but it doesn't really matter. And then what I want to try and see is if I can't go and combine this with the red one we get over here. I'm really hoping we can. Guys, remember, you always, always, always combine to the biggest level. So say, for example, I was to go and combine this one, this one, and then this one, and then that combined one I combined with this. It's basically like just combining one of these with this. So you go from like, like level 71 to 75. But with all three of these, if you add them to this one one at a time, so you, this one's the highest, you put it in there and just add it to it, you can actually get to level 80. I've actually seen a lot of people make them at 6. Look at that. So if I was to combine this one, this one, and this one over here, that would be like uh, almost level 70. Combine them, it would only be level 76. I combine them separately, and you have a level 80 bow. There's a blue one. So now we can actually go and use pulse grenades on this one. I need to make more pulse... Uh, mods as well. Uh, laser mods. Lay not laser. Laser. Laser mods. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make laser mods. I needed 60 notes, and we actually bought some notes, so we should have some six. We should have 60 over here. Okay, so. What else do we need? Uh, we have the forged iron on us. We have enriched uranium. We need five electrical parts. Oh, I put them all over here. Remember, it's like, oh no, I lost all my electrical parts. I even just now, I couldn't see it over there. That's that's kind of terrifying when you know you have something, but you can't see it. Okay, so that goes on the bow, and then I need to see if I can't just put a ton of these mods on there as well. And then I need to make a blessed metal one, but I don't have enough notes right now. Okay, uh, my rocket launcher already has blessed metal. See, I need to make sure that even though the pulse uh, uh, does stop their regen, the pulse or the laser mod that we're going to put on this, and then, uh, no, yeah. 
We, even without the laser mod, if you use pulse grenades, it stops a, de a regen of demons. So now if you go and you put um, the blessed metal mod on here as well, you do bonus damage. That's what we're aiming for. Okay, we're going to need a ton of sticks as well. So you take these. You say stick. And how much are we going to make? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 sticks. That's 2,000 because it makes times 2. So in 4 minutes, we'll have 4,000 sticks. We have enriched uranium. We're not even going to use all of this, guys, because I'm going to use up all my enriched uranium. And I want to make some cells over here. So if I want to make some energy cells... Energy. We are going to need some electrical parts. See, it's so easy running out of resources. You need electrical parts for energy cells. You need electrical parts for laser bat or for oil batteries over here. You can so easily run out of resources. You need the, the uh, lead for bullet tips for um, uh, the coil batteries. For it, it, it just, you need resources all over. You need to be super careful of how you use it. Only a thousand and we ran out of electrical. Okay, so next up I have to see if I can't buy some electrical parts it seems then. As soon as this reaches like a thousand, I'm just going to try and make a thousand volts. Oh no, we won't have enough for the... Okay, yeah, um, I just realized. We won't have enough scrap polymers over here. So if we now go and say pulse, it's a pulse grenade, pulse arrow, what do we need? Gunpowder. Oh, these actually require gunpowder. The normal pulse grenades don't need it. So pulse arrows, not the bolts, pulse arrows, 600. So now we'll have 600 explosives to use. I think they don't do as much damage as a pulse grenade. I wonder if we actually have a pulse grenade to test on. This one does explosion damage 1023 and it's a 5 radius. 123, 5 radius. 123, 5 radius. I just want to do this. I'm going to wait for that to finish. So 123, 5 radius. We need to see which one's best. And then we can actually go and put these away for now because there's no way we're going to be using all of them right now. Technically, I could even go and stop the sticks because there's no reason to make 4,000 explosives. We're going to need way more in a rich uranium of it if we're going to actually try and attempt that. And that's a little bit out of my ballpark right now. It's just way too expensive. Okay, so a blessed metal mod also requires 60 notes, right? Blessed metal mod. Only 15 notes. Okay, we need glue, spring, and steel. Glue. We should have some glue over here. Come on. Yeah, glue, spring, and steel. Nice. Okay, so we can make at least one blessed metal. That's going to help the bow a lot. I will, I'm hoping we have some hunting ones as well. Yeah, this one. And then the other string, but I don't see the string. Oh, uh, this one. I think this might be the string one. There's usually a green string as well you can put on mods. I wonder if we still have the old one. No, none of these are modded. Oh, that's a shame. When we started off in the series, we actually had another one. There's supposed to be three mods that can go on bows. So these two, we can actually put them on the bow already. We put the blessed metal on there as well, and then laser battery, and then, wow, this thing's going to do some damage. Uh, that is 123. Explosion damage, 13. Oof, okay. And it also does block damage, so it's not that great. It could do some damage, at least stop their regen and stuff. Yeah, disables demonic regen. So if we can shoot every now and then one of these through there as well, at least it's going to stop their uh, regen. But it's not going to be as great as a pulse grenade then. I wonder if I should just make the pulse grenades. Instead of making 500 of that, let's make 100. So we can just test it. Oh, not that much. Just 100. Or oh, we already have 12, so we'll make 88. And then the rest, I'm just going to make some uh, pulse grenades. Even though this, the aiming on this sucks. Oh, no, I don't want to make that much. Even though the aiming on these suck, um, it's still better than nothing. This, this just does way more damage to the demons and stuff. So that's what you actually want right now. That damage. Two of each item and three of the helmets. Two of each item. And three of the helmets. I need two power legs as well. Okay, it's just a good thing I checked my uh, my forges over here because I accidentally went and put like 10,000 or something over here. So I was losing out on resources. And I popped this open, I was like, whoa, it's crafting 10,000 jars. What I'm going to do now is all we have to do... Ah, this is going to take a while. What I'm going to have to do now is just fill up all these jars quickly. Quickly go take down the zombie over here. I need to fill up those jars and then I need to go and cook them with the cornmeal for some more. Scrap polymers, because we're going to need way, way, way more scrap polymers. And also, these should be done. Yeah. I need to open up all of these, and then make some armor-piercing coil rounds. And then I need to go and fill up all the jars, 
And I need to go and make some cornmeal. The cornmeal we can actually make over here. So if I do this... I can even for now just fill up these, uh, these are my tool belts. Uh, we don't have to fill up all of them. Yeah, 125 times... I, I made a thousand per, so we only need eight slots inside. That's why I, I was so confused when I saw that the one was um, full already, but it was still making stuff. Okay, so we just grab this, grab some uh, corn, and then make some scrap polymers. Oh, no, no. We have to... Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. We first have to go cook up all of these jars. So I can cook up... Man, yeah, to count this every single time sucks. So it's 250, 500, 1,500 jars per. 1,500. So how long is this going to take? Yeah, that is, nah, that's going to take forever. No, that's 1,500, 1,250. That's 250. Oh, wow, I just went way too much. Okay, that's 250, 500, 750, 1,000. No, that is right. 125 plus 125, that's 250. That's 500. That's 1,000. That's 1,500, yeah. So, yeah, guys, this is... Gonna, <laughs> I, I, we're going to be uh, crafting this for a while now, it seems. Oh, wait, we don't even have that much jar... Oh, that many jars. So, I can actually go and do it like a thousand, thousand, thousand. I want to have some water left myself as well. Because when we're running around and fighting demons and stuff, we want to also be able to do that. We're just going to be using those over there and this one over here. And then the rest of the jars and stuff we can put away for now. But we are full over there, so I'm going to put the murky water in here. I'm going to keep one on me just in case we need to set ourselves out with, like, demon fire and stuff. And then for now, we're just going to put the cornmeal back. Okay, so I thought we were actually a little bit uh, further along. I wish the recipe could be changed to just murky water instead of um, the, the other water. Because it's going to take way, 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 way too long to get all of that stuff done. Club. Okay, so we have everything on us that we need. We have to put these in here. That in there. And then we just go and start bolting, start having fun. I'm wondering if I shouldn't do the pit underneath first before we start doing the other uh, outside designs and stuff. Okay, and then also I have to quickly go and just make some of this ammo over here. Okay, now we grab those and we can start making some armor piercing quail rounds. I wonder if I shouldn't make my own ammo first because Horde Knight's still a ways away. How much can I make? 2.5. Hmm. Let's make a thousand of this one. It's going to be 20 minutes, so we'll have 2,000 rounds in no time. Also, I, I completely forgot that this one had glasses in here, so it wasn't done crafting it, unfortunately. Okay, and then behind that, we're going to go and see if we can make 500 more. What am I short on? Yeah, we don't need so much more. It's easy enough to go and craft it. All you need to make sure is go and grab some iron. Clay, and we have some lead on us. And then we can just go make some more via. Okay, so we're just going to go and make... Let's go 2,000 over here. 2,000 over here. We're going to make... Let's just do the sun first. Okay, so for the bullet tips, we need 2,000 over here. And for the bullet tips on this one, we need 2,000 over here. Then we can finally grab that. I need to go place this down over there. And then put all of the stuff away. And then we're going to start with the building. Okay, so I just learned something interesting, guys. Do you know how much cornmeal we're going to be able to get from this? Literally, we only have to use 375 corn, and you get 1,500 cornmeal. So we can hold 250 in a stack. That's 500, 1,000, 1,500. So I just have to go and copy this and put them in all of these. So as long as all of these over here are crafting some, uh, in 15 minutes, we'll have thousands upon thousands of cornmeal. Each one of these uh, modern pistols is now crafting 1,500 cornmeal. So that means we need 1,500 uh, cook jars. That's why I say that I, I hope that it can be changed. I actually need to ask um, Kane this. If it can be changed so it's um, uh, just murky water that he can use, that will help a lot. Because this already, uh, we can craft so much cornmeal, but we can't craft that much uh, bottled water. It takes hours upon hours just to boil the water. So I'm hoping there's a, uh, there's a chance that we can actually just make it normal murky water. Because that's at least going to help the player out a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the players, so at least that's going to benefit me as well. Okie dokie, there's a wandering horde outside my base over here. There's demons and stuff, that's how I know it is a wandering horde. I wonder how they... Why did they stop over there and not come closer? 
Him stopping there is actually helping me tremendously. I want to check something before the zombies start coming. Oh, he's just a tough zombie. Uh, where is our skill at the moment? Please, 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 please. Oh, yes. Now I can finally do that. Now our crowbar is doing way more damage too. Okay, now I'm going to start doing some, making some noise over here, which means more demons and stuff are going to come. So as we start shooting, more and more and more are going to show up. I want to check the power armor as well. That should be done by now. Oh, he's healing so fast. There has to be more over here. It's not just these dudes. Come on, hit him so he doesn't regen, please. That couldn't have been all of it. So I'm hoping they're not going to be... Okay, they're all over there. See, I'm going to be working over here. So if I'm, while I'm busy uh, digging, I have demons and stuff falling on my head. That's going to suck so bad. Okay, I should have put the turrets down a little bit closer to them because that was a little bit unfortunate just now. Now I want to see before we go under because there might be a little bit of a pile up over here. We need to make one more power legs. So as soon as all of this is done, guys, we'll finally have a full set of power armor. So that's going to be awesome. I'm going to make sure we put all of this away. And then pulse arrows I'll put for Horde Knights over here. Okay. Rose dinner. I don't know what... The, let's just actually see what that does. Oh, healing for two minutes. Nice. So you constantly have to take some beer, take some vitamins and stuff because you never know when last you actually took some of this stuff. Especially like vitamins. They give you plus three wellness. So yeah, my wellness and stuff is uh, still constantly going up. That's if I actually go and remember to take those things. But usually I keep on forgetting. Okay, so... I don't know if we're going to have time to put in an electric fence post this episode. But I think what I'm going to do first is just dig out this bunker area. So I'm going to dig, dig down right here. Uh, because at the moment we have a problem where zombies are getting underneath us over here. They're digging in, uh, they're digging this whole place out. So this might cave in soon. So what I'm, I'm going to have to do is reinforce the whole area underneath over here with titanium. And then keep on going down. I wonder if I shouldn't do that side first. Basically what we need to do is dig down over here. Dig down over here, and then just join the two ends together, because the loot bags are over here in this area. So I'm going to have to make like a, a catchy thing underneath to be able to grab it, which means I'm going to have to destroy some titanium, unfortunately. Okay, this is insane. The ward knight, guys. For some reason, they keep on slipping in here underneath. We're now right underneath where we usually stand. Over here is where we usually face the zombies, so if I can actually just go... Maybe like this. No, I can't show from this angle. But yeah, basically they were doing quite a bit of damage. Somehow they... Uh, I think that's the floor over there. They're literally slipping in between that hole and then getting underneath of here. And then they're making a massive hole. So I just cleaned this up over here. Now we just have to make this titanium or steel. And then at the back over here, I actually want to have a tunnel going down and meeting up over here. So this is where we're going to be facing or um, uh, collecting all the loot. I'm thinking of... Making this, I need to make it as thin as possible, but I also want to grab loot. If it's a one by one, zombies might get stuck down here, but that's going to be a problem. What I could do is like full, a full on block like this, put it in, then the loot will fall on the bottom. Uh, I wonder if I'll still be able to get underneath. This is the hole. Yeah, this is the block we can still actually pick up. I'm going to test something quickly. If we were to do this and we go make a plate like so, can we still get underneath? We can go start one by one, but no. Oh, we can. Okay, cool. It's going to look really weird, but at least we'll be able to go and loot, uh, catch, catch loot. So basically, any loot that falls through the floor, usually uh, it falls through the floor and gets stuck between the steel and the floor. Now, this is going to make sure that the loot just uh, drops on the plates over here. But on this side in the wall, I'm actually like thinking of putting like two turrets on top of each other or two next to each other. So that if something falls down underneath over here, they'll start shooting. And if they start shooting, we know, okay, we have to come down here and kill some zombies. Because this is the, that's going to be the only problem right now. They're going to come down here somehow and then we won't be able to really do anything. I'm so worried about that. The moment they make it down here, we're going to have a problem. I can either do that or I can put bars down here. If I put like the, the these bars with the centered versions, then we'll still be able to go in between them and the zombies might get stuck down here. The problem is if they get stuck and they start wailing on blocks, we have a problem. I think this is going to be the best bet right now. We're going to do this. We're going to make them steal... Um, yeah, we're just going to make them steel. It doesn't have to be titanium. We're going to save some resources. Which means I need to do one layer upgrade. One layer upgrade to be able to do this now. Okay, let me just see if I can't do this whole thing quickly. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, we ran out of steel. But I completely forgot to actually put it in. Uh, we got all of this iron over here and all of the... I can't even do that. 
We got all of those iron, so I could have just as well made some steel a long time ago, but I completely actually forgot about that. So we can make, I think, 500 per stack. Um, How much do I want? Uh, let's see, let's see. No, not forged titanium, forged steel. If I can make 500... One, two, three. Let's go for 3,000 per. It's going to take 25 minutes, but at least as soon as these are done, all the forges will have some in them. And then with all this ammo, we can go and make some more foil ammo. These are starting to actually finally, finally, finally just take shape over here. It's been a, a long time coming, but at least it's starting to show now. Okay, so we need... Ooh. We don't even make the armor piercing ones, and we still need uh, the... Okay, so if I go and do this, perhaps, it gives me so little. So, so, so little. But it only stacks to 20, so I need to make sure. Oh, oh, yeah, this is going to be too much. I forgot it only stacks to 20. It doesn't stack like 120 something. Ooh, okay, so I have way too much water in there cooking. But at least we should be able to go and do this quickly. Polymers, boom. It's already 800 right there within like five minutes. I think that's five minutes, right? I can't really see the number next to the five. But yeah, so that thing is, I think, way faster than the chem station of here. And also, I think it doesn't create a heat map. Just like with the... The uh, uh, advanced forges of here. I don't think the advanced forges make any heat map. Okay, so what we can do now is just combine these quickly. And as soon as all of them are combined to level 80, we'll actually have a full set of power armor. And we won't have, need the ablative bl armor. We won't need anything else. So we will have space for way more mods. Okay, so I just grabbed some ammo and stuff as well because I want to make sure we start making armor piercing 762 rounds. We can make 2,000 in this one. I don't have to worry about the speed. I'm not wearing the right glasses right now, I think. Let me just see. Did I put my glasses back here? Okay, we are wearing uh, the crafting glasses. Nice, 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 nice. I need to make some more quail rounds after this, the quail batteries. But for now, it looks like we have everything we need over here. This I want to use up before we start using these, so I'll put these in here for now. And then with the armors, let's just do this. Building supplies, we don't need. I'm just, I just need that steel to finish so we can actually keep on looting. And also, this concrete over here, I need to go and make some more blocks. So, I'll, I'm going to put everything in here. Technically, I can just make stuff on me as well. But this way, I don't have to worry about stuff being crafted. See, it makes it half the... So, these are the ones you can pick up. The well, more expensive ones are the, are the ones you can't pick up that you uh, build with. So, I'm going to do that. And then we just have to go and take all of our mods and stuff off and start putting it on our clothes over here. Uh, let's do the helmet first and then we're going to go all the way down the line and just add everything in order again. But I, I, I want to show you guys with the helmet right here. If you put this back on, you can't put the radiation mod on. And you can't put the ablative. So it saves you two mod slots to put other stuff on. Because uh, basically the ablative is uh, fire resistance, but the power arm already has fire resistance. This is radiation protection, but the power arm is already radiation protection. So we're saving these. We can now put these on other armors that we might need or might have or whatever. And then just go from there. So now I can just go and put that on. Put that there and then do the same with the rest. Okay, so I have all of my titanium armor off. And now look what stays over. We can actually keep these on these. It doesn't really matter. So we can basically uh, perhaps later use them as like uh, uh, armor during Horde Night or whatever. But yeah, um, we just saved three mod slots on this, this, and this. Two mod slots on that and that. So basically, we'll be able to go and put some heat resistance and all that stuff on as well. Damn. And all of this over here, we can actually just go and scrap for some military fibers. Or we can sell them as well, because they might be able to get sold for a lot. And at least now we saved... You guys, we saved so much space just now. It's insane. Okay, this over here is crafting that. Okay. And then this is busy with the steel. I should be able to do a little bit more upgrading with the steel. I want to actually take some nerdy glasses with me. Because if you upgrade with them, you can actually get some more XP as well. I want to make sure we get as much XP out of this experience as we possibly can. These little ones, yeah, that you cannot pick up. The ones that you build with. And also, I made myself a hole over here. So we're just going to go down like so. And then we got underneath over here. I already got this far. Basically, I'm making the roof reinforced steel. I'm going to make the floor and the walls just so the bottom level over here is just going to be um, a normal steel. So there's going to be a wall of this block and a wall of this block and then there's going to be plates in the middle. And then on this side of here, I need to figure out how I'm going to put the turrets in. The turrets should be able to see zombies through the blocks. 
and over the plates. Um, that way we should be able to kill some uh, zombies that fall down here. Because uh, every time... I say a titan actually managed to clip through or ragdoll through with an explosion. This base is going to get wrecked. So either I put a turret down here, or I put a motion sensor with a siren. The siren can be upstairs with me, the motion sensor down here. So as soon as the motion sensor senses something down here, uh, like a zombie moving, the siren's going to go off and we'll be able to go, I'll just quickly pop down here and kill the whatever's down here. Okay, so that took way longer than I thought it was going to take. I thought you can just put plates underneath of here, but I started placing some. I'm glad I actually tested it with this. These ones you can actually pick up. Um, I started placing some and I realized I couldn't, for some reason, sometimes you can't climb onto the plates if you're underneath of here. For those of you who are wondering, I'm crawling right now through one by one. But yeah, um, I had to go and put some sheets down because they were, they're thinner than the plates, like a lot thinner. So at least you can actually go in between the block and the sheet. If I were to put a plate over here, I can't make it in. But as soon as you're in, then all of a sudden you can walk over everything. So I'm also just putting plates every now and then as well. I put sheets at the back. Like every second, uh, every other row I put a sheet and then uh, with other rows we put some plates. So that if zombies fall through from the top, we can actually have some protection down here. I should probably also just go and put some plates on the walls of here. Like so. Um, yeah, we're going to make this a crawly thing of here too. But then, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do this. One at the back we can do also. Uh, also. Let me go and copy shape. Copy rotation, why not? And then above of here, where the zombies keep getting in, we need to go and place full blocks and just upgrade the hell out of these. This over here, I'm going to make just titanium. Because for some reason, the zombies can, uh, get, uh, they, they can ragdoll down here. And as soon as they ragdoll down here, they can, uh, they're going to do so much damage to this place, guys, it's going to cave in. Um, so we can't afford for the zombies to clip through the holes of here. I'm just hoping, since they can ragdoll from explosions through to underneath this base... I'm hoping they can't do the same um, to the pit we just made underneath to catch all the loot. Because that's purely just to be able to catch loot. So if they can all of a sudden TP or ragdoll or glitch through there, we might have a problem. Because then they're going to try and climb the ladder up to me. At least as I'm making a crawly thing before we do the ladder over here. So basically you're going to fall off ladder. Then you're going to crouch and you're going to walk underneath on plates. That's the only way, only way right now we can make sure that they don't follow us too easily. They put this down... Oh, we can't place these down because of that. Okay. I might be able to go down one more. Yeah, that's dirt. So I could just really do this. I just want to have a nice proper floor over here as well. So it looks nice. There we go and place full blocks. Let's take that out. Full blocks like so. So it just looks like we're still walking on the concrete from the start. And then we can just go and make this reinforced. At first, I just wanted to go normal one level steel. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just make everything reinforced. Just in case something gets underneath over here, then we have a little bit of protection going too. There's something over here is... Oh, concrete. That's not good. Everything needs to be reinforced. So if they explode down here, they're not instantly going to make a hole or something. Okay, that is now full, unfortunately. These we can pick up. So we're going to go and do this. You know, I just need more steel and then... Or oh, I can just make titanium blocks and fill that up with the titanium. Um, so next episode, we're going to keep on building... But now I wonder, should I make this go through the steel upgrades? Because upgrading from concrete to steel to titanium gives you XP. But with all of the titanium that we do have on our drone, which is somewhere over here. I think the drone's still stuck in the ground over there. <laughs> but with all that titanium, I can just put it in here and make some titanium blocks. And with titanium blocks, we'll be able to get... Hang on, we can just all do steel, right? We are making steel over here, so it just makes sense to keep using the steel. I mean, we do get XP at least, so we can upgrade from steel to that. Now I just have to make sure that wherever my drone is... Hello? Outside. It can't get inside of here, it seems. Now, where are you? Oh, now it's upstairs. My drone really has problems navigating through doors and windows and stuff. Now we can just go and grab that. I keep grabbing everything. You need to keep your healing. But yeah, with this, we should be able to fill up the hole underneath. Let me just quickly actually do that. I'm going to fill up this hole, and the next episode we have to do is start putting in electric fence posts and stuff. First things first, we have to repair all the damage done to the titanium of here. Guys, I made a hole here. That's why it's a new block. I made a hole right here and dug down, and then that's how I got underneath. And now that I'm on top, and then when I was done, I was like, you know, let me just plug this from the bottom. It was just easier doing it that way, so I don't have to worry about zombies constantly falling in behind me or something. Okay, so now we just have to go and fall back in. I'm going to keep it a one by one of here, so it's just easier getting back and forth. And then, yeah, we just have to go and upgrade this quickly. 
This, we're gonna put a ladder, but over here, all of this is just gonna be full on titanium. Even this over here. I'm not gonna be taking any chances right now. There's no way I'm gonna let them raggle through uh, down here again. Okay, so now we have the walls at least. I went underneath the outer walls of the top part and I just made uh, into the walls over here. I made all of this titanium and now we have to fill it up. So basically, I have not started filling up this thing at all because I went into the walls now to make sure that they can't dig down into next to the titanium. Now I have to go. Guys, we already have three points of here. Now I just to go and fill up the rest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill up the rest. Next time we can go together, I need to actually destroy this and there to put turrets in over here. Or just motion sensors so if a zombie gets down, we can just pop down here and quickly take them out. Now what I'm going to have to make sure is I don't, don't accidentally go and block off my way out. We will do this. Okay, my drone's a bit in the way. So I'm going to leave that one open and all of this is going to be titanium all the way through to over here. So yeah, I have a lot of upgrading to do. I will see you guys next time. If you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends. Comment, steps, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.